Hello everyone and welcome back again. In this video, we, will t uh, we, we are going to touch two topics that is, first one is positive and negative number and the second one is odd and even number. So we will first go to this positive and negative number. Now let us understand what is a positive number. Positive numbers are numbers which are greater than zero, that is, and then negative numbers are numbers which are less than zero. So the numbers can be, for example, for a positive number, it can be 2, 5, 1, 10. Those are positive number, which is greater than zero. And the negative number will be of examples like minus 1, minus 2, minus 11, minus 33. That means a number which has a negative sign. That will be of negative number. Done? We have this number line here. Now this number line, 0 is in the middle, and then a number with, for a positive number, number which is greater than zero. So greater than zero number will go on like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And for the negative number, the number which is negative number which is less than zero will, will be count as, will count back as minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, and so on it will go. Okay, so for a negative number, a number with a negative sign. Done, which is less than, know that, which is less than zeros are all negative number. And more than zero will be of positive number. And then, when we look at the scale, as the scale goes up, as the scale moves on, goes up, that is above zero, the bigger the number will be, the more the value it is. But as the scale goes back go, or goes down, that is below zero, that is after, that is below zero, as the number goes up, the number is increasing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So as the numbers goes down, so bigger the number, the lesser will be the value. That is the difference between the positive and negative number. Know it, more, the, for the positive number, the more, or the bigger the number, the, le the bigger will be the value. And for the negative number with the negative sign, the more the number, the lesser will be the value. Now, if I give you an example as minus 9 and then minus 19, which one is bigger? Now here, this sign, like I say, it says, bigger the number with the negative sign, the lesser will be the value. So which number is bigger? Minus 9 will be bigger. Now, if I write here 1, which one is bigger? So this is minus 9 and then this is 1, so 1 will be bigger. All right? Now, if I write here 9 here, that means your 9 is bigger and then your minus 9 is less comparing with 9. Know it? The bigger the number with the negative sign, the lesser will be the value. Now here, let's start with this question. It says, this question is taken from your textbook. It says, use a number line. Here we're going to use a number line to help you work out the answers to the question. So here's the questions given. It says, the first question says, what temperature is 6 degrees warmer than 4 degrees? minus 4 degrees Celsius. So by how much is the temperature? 6 degrees warmer than minus 4 degrees Celsius. So here it says minus 4 degrees Celsius. So we'll find out where is minus 4. So after the point that is back, after the point that is 0 to the left side, we count the numbers as minus 1, right? And then minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. That means this line is for your minus 4. It says the temperature is 6 degree warmer, so warmer, so it will go up. So how do we count? It says 6 degree warmer, so we will count forward 6, 1. So it's it, minus 4 is here, so we'll count from here as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So here, it stops here, so your answer is this how much? Now what is the scale? After zero, we count as one, two, right? So your answer is two degrees Celsius. So your A answer is two degrees 
that space. Done? And for the second question, it says, what temperatures is five degrees colder than one degree Celsius? We know that one is over here. It says colder, so we will go down. Okay, we will go back by five degrees Celsius, by five degrees. So we will count, one is over here, so we'll count on the next. That is one, two, three, four, and five. So that is minus four. So the answer is for B is minus four degree Celsius. So that's how we use this number line to find the temperatures, right? Now we will go to the next one, that is odd and even number. Now we will go to this next one, that is the next topic, that is odd and even number. Now first, what is an odd number? Odd numbers are numbers which are not a multiple of two, or we can say that odd number is not a divisible of two. So a number which is not a divisible of two will be called odd number, and an even number means divisible by two, or multiple of two numbers are called even numbers. Example, for example, or even number will be two, four, eight, ten, and then twelve, and so on. And for the odd number, it will be one, three, seven, thirteen, and so on. So the easiest way to remember is for the even number is that see whether the number is can, is of a pair or not. For example, if we say if I say one. One is single alone, so that's an odd number. If I say two, that means two can be made a pair, so that means it's an even number. And then, what about three? Three has one pair, and then one is left alone, so that is odd number. And then four, if I say four means that we can make two to pair, right? So that's an even number. What about for a bigger number? When it comes to a bigger number, how do we know whether that number or that particular number is even or odd or not? <laughs> so what we have to do is, for example, if I write 103 here. Now, it's a big number. It's a three digits number. Now, 100, 103. If we keep on divide, if we divide it by two, we can, you can find out whether it's divisible by two or not. But if we keep on dividing, it will take time. So the easiest way to know whether a number is an odd or even or not, what we have to do is look at the one space digit. Now here your one space digit number is three. So three, we don't find in two tables, right? So that means 103 is an odd number. Now if I write here 118, now this 118, that's shape whether it's an even or odd. Now here, how do we check is Look at the one space digit number. Your one space digit number is eight. That means we find eight in the table of two, right? So that means 180 is an even number. So that's how we find for the bigger number, whether it's odd or even, right? Now, let's have a look at these questions. Now this question is taken from your exercise. It says, I am a two digits number less than 20. That means we're going to write a two digit number it, and then that and that two digit number has to be less than 20. And then it says, I am odd. And that particular number that is two digit number has to be odd. And then it says, the sum of my digits is 10. So here the two digits number, the sum should be 10. Done? Which number am I? So we have to find out what is that number. Know that here the information which they have given is that particular number should be odd number, not even number, it should be odd number, and that number has to be less than 20. And when you add those two digit number, their sum has to be plus. So which number shall we take? So if it, say, it says two digit number, so the two digit number, which is less than 20 will be uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? And so on till 19, right? 11, 12, 13, and so on, it will go till 19, right? So if I take 11, and then, if I take 11, if I add this one and one, that's make two only. It says their sum has to be 10. So what I have to do is, if we keep on looking at these numbers, do you see this 19? Now let's have a look at this 19. Now 19 is an odd number, which is correct. And then it's less than 20, which is also correct. And then it says the sum should be 10. So if we add 1 and 9, that's make 10. That means what 
is the question says, so what is the answer? Which number am I? The answer is 19. So for these questions, the answer is 19. So that's how we find the answers using the information which is given here. Now, let's go to this Venn diagram. That is the next question, the Venn diagram. Now here we see, before we go into this, first let us understand what is a Venn diagram. Actually, the Venn diagram is a diagram or a picture chart that shows how two things are related or different, all right? And the center or the middle part is what they share. Now here we have two circles. This part is for the numbers greater than 200. So the numbers which are greater than 200, they're going to write here. And then this part is for the odd number. That means if the numbers, that means all the odd numbers will come in this part, right? And then this part, the center part will be of what they share. That means the center part will be for a number which shares both odd also and then greater than 200. So let's find out. The first number is here is given as 57. Now 57 is number greater than 200. That means 57 is not greater than 200, so we cannot write here. And what about the other circle says? It's odd number. So is it odd or even? How to find out? Your one space digit number seven is seven. So that means seven does not, we don't find in two tables. That means it's an odd number. So 57, we will write in this part of the circle, 57 number. Done? Now next number is 309. Now 309 is greater than 200, right? And then when we look at this 309 number, we know that it's odd number. Why? Because the one space digit number is nine. Nine, we don't find in two tables, right? So that means it's an odd number. So it goes for here also, right? That means this 309 is sharing for both 200, it's an odd number also, and then it's greater than 200 also, right? So in that case, we're going to write this number 309 over here. 309. All right? Now, and then the last number is 450. Now this 450 is greater than 200, right? Is it an odd number or even number? It's an even number because the last digit, that is the one space digit number is zero. If it is zero, it's an even number. So this one is an even number. So this number 450 will go to this part that is number greater than 200. So it's greater than 200. So we're going to write here 450. So that's how we do the Venn diagrams. So that's all for today. See you again in the next video.